I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up everybody? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another PUBG video. It's been a while since I did a PUBG video, and I figured it was overdue. We have PUBG Mondays once a week where we stream PUBG on my YouTube channel, but every now and then I just need to upload a PUBG video. I just, I just feel it. So I was thinking of a subject matter to talk about uh, for this gameplay, and I keep I, whenever I play these Battle Royale games, especially PUBG, I wonder, why why am I so inconsistent? Why do sometimes... Oh, look at this guy. Bad move, buddy. Bad move, West Side. <laughs> uh, why, why do sometimes I seem to do really good, get a lot of kills, and get a lot of wins, and other days I just seem to die a lot over and over? Why is that? I know why it is, and I don't I don't know if I've ever made a video on this subject before, but it's something that's really helped me to do better at Battle Royale games in general. So specifically, I was wondering one day why when I'm streaming, even though I used to get nervous on my streams, I don't get too much nervous anymore. Um, why do I do better on my streams than when I play by myself? And... Uh, the answer, believe it or not, all comes down to the mood you're in when you're playing and what your objective is, okay? And it's actually very simple, but sometimes it's really hard to stop yourself and say, hey, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. The way I'm playing is just not going to get me to win. So I'm going to take you through my gameplay here and talk about some of the ways I play, some of the different moods I get in, and the best kind of mood to win. So let's start with that. Let's start with the best type of mood you can have to basically win the game. And that is, a believe it or not, that is a laid back mood of I kind of don't care how many kills I get or how far I get in the game. I just want to have a good time. At the same time, you don't want to put yourselves in crazy situations. You know, you're not saying... I don't care about how I play. You're just saying, I don't really care how many kills I get. You know, if the guys come to me and they give me the chance to kill them, I'll kill them. If not, you know, I'll move on and, and keep moving with the zone. That laid back mood has gotten me more wins, more wins than anything else. You know, you always get a lucky win here and there, but I've had days where I'm so laid back and just don't care whether I win or lose. And I just play the game the way it's meant to be played tactically and strategically moving with the zone finding good position and not worrying about kills and the kills just seem to come to me and so do the wins i had like three or four wins in one day in solos just doing this and solos can be really inconsistent if you're rolling with a good duo partner or a good squad uh you're probably more likely to get wins than in solo matches because in solo there's a ton a ton of third partying that happens like right here watch this part i'm, I'm completely gonna third party these guys having a fight So I see the guy up there, they're fighting, I kill him, and then I kill his buddy. Both of them were heavily wounded from the gunfight they were just in with each other. And here comes me, like, hey guys, I'm going to take advantage of this and just kill both of you. <laughs> it works out really good. So I think the best mood to be in, and let me know in the comments what you think about this too, guys. I think the best mode to be in is a very laid back mood where it's where you're okay if you don't get the win but you're not out there to practice you're not out there to prove how many kills you can get you're just in it to win it you know what i mean and if you don't win it big deal start again and when i find myself in these types of moods when i have a long time to play like if i know that it's like a saturday morning or a sunday morning and i literally have I've got everything I need to do done. I have all day long to play as much as I want to. I find myself in that kind of mood. Now, on the other hand, eh, let's say I only have an hour or two to play and I really want to get that win. I'm like, all right, I, I need some kind of content for my YouTube or maybe I'm just really, really in the mood to smash that win. That's when I find myself losing. And the reason for that is because... When you're in that mindset of you just want to win and you just want to get a lot of kills, you're going to put yourself in really bad situations that you wouldn't normally put yourself in when you're in that laid back mood. Wow, those guys got destroyed. <laughs> so basically, if I am in the mood to just get kills, 
I'll usually end up not getting as many kills as I want to, or maybe just dying at the beginning because I grab a gun and I push somebody before I have a vest and a helmet or heels, you know? So, um, and it's kind of common sense. I know it's kind of common sense, but it's, it's that common sense that we all kind of have and we kind of ignore, you know, when we're doing something wrong in the game, when we're not playing it the way we're supposed to, when we know we don't have to push that gunfight, but we do it anyway, I'm... I am so guilty of that. I am so guilty of pushing gunfights that don't actually need to be pushed. Like, you will find me doing that almost every time I play. And sometimes it leads to great moments, but most of the time it just leads to an unnecessary death and an unnecessary trip back to the lobby to start a new match. I know, I know that you guys know exactly what I mean. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, believe it or not, there's not a lot of things you need to memorize to be good at to be good at this game and consistent in getting the wins. Obviously, you need to have some gun skills. You need to know which attachments you like. You need to know which guns you favor. You need to know how to move into the zone. You need to know how to use cover and concealment. Cover being something that the enemies cannot shoot through. Concealment being like this bush right here that just makes it hard for them to see you. You need to know how to listen to, for the directionality of where the bullets are coming from. There's so much in this game you need to be good at. But if you're already good at the game and you just want to increase your win rate, it's all about your mood. It's 100% about your mood. If you get in that nice laid back mood where you're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to kill guys that I see. I'm not going to push gunfights. I'm going to move with the zone going to do everything I can to get that win. It doesn't mean sit in a room and camp. It just means play strategically. You don't have to be an ultra camper to play strategically, you know, but at the same time in PUBG, there's really nothing wrong with camping. In fact, it is one of the most valid strategies to get that win. Okay, here we are in a 1v1 situation. We have 13 kills, one guy left. I am lucky enough to spot him over there and I can tell he doesn't know where I am, but I made the mistake of firing too quick. So he obviously he could probably tell where I was. I back off from the tree I was on and throw a grenade and he did the exact same thing. He threw a grenade. So when you get to the end game, your mood is going to change. It's going to be 1v1. You're going to be like, I'm not laid back anymore. I'm fucking hyped. Let's do this. Let's get this win. Or you're going to be real scared. Listen for the sounds. You can hear this guy. He's just, you know, right off over there. And there he is looking for me. And that's the game. A nice, laid-back, 14-kill chicken dinner. I really hope this helps you guys with your gameplay. Leave a comment and a like. Subscribe and join if you want to support. I'll see you guys on the next video or the next live stream. Later!